Welcome to Knockbro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to discuss Negan and Charlie. Why are people so willing to forgive Negan and not Charlie? And this yeah. one hits home, right? This is yeah. uh, dear to my heart. Yeah, this has come up quite a bit recently with, you know, the episode of Charlie that we saw and just Charlie in general and Fear the Walking Dead. And I've seen it on Reddit and I've seen some posts in our comments about it. And it brings up a good point. And there are a lot of reasons as to why the fandom is either split either you know they still hate negan they still hate charlie they forgive negan they blah 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 right so we'll kind of just want to give an open discussion talking about it you kind of know our general feelings about it and we'll provide that even more and uh yeah it, it's a really good point um I mean, us being comic book readers, we've always loved Negan, right? Now, in, in The Walking Dead comics, Negan didn't really have a redemption arc. In a, in a sense, I mean, he still was, he still helped out. He still helped in the Whisperer War. What was his full redemption arc in the comics? Um, probably the moment where he turns to Rick and apologizes to Rick for yeah, the loss of Andrea. Yeah, I mean, I mean that was a yeah for I me mean, that was one of the most touching uh, Negan and Rick moments. Yeah, you could you could say it was redemption. How about uh, saving Rick's life oh, yeah, right he, before that? Oh yeah, he saved Rick's life. You know the the whole scene with him and you know Maggie basically You're begging. Just, Maggie I'm just to, talking about the source material. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know him begging Maggie to kill him in the source material. Material. Oh, I'm I'm um, I'm okay like with that, but, that, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, if she would have blown him away at that moment, yeah. Would have been yeah. perfectly fine with that. Right. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know. We get to see it more in the TV show, his redemption arc, than the sure. source material. But I get what you're saying. Yes, there are, there are pieces of it, but it just wasn't so. He, he did certain actions in the source material that you could say, yes, it was redemption. But it was so quick as you're reading it. It just kind of it didn't phase in your mind. Well, that and, and he's redeemed, and, so and, to speak. And here's the deal. Like the, the comic book source material, Negan, is 100 percent different than the show oh, yeah, uh, yeah. from a perspective oh, of yeah. uh brutalness um mm. uh mm. when he first came onto the scene um you know there was no attacking negan first this was negan showing up oh, yeah. out, of the blue out of the blue and killing them yeah um yeah it, it, i mean it was completely different um so maybe there's that maybe there's the people that sympathize with Negan and are willing to forgive him look at what events aspired prior to Negan doing what he did mm -hmm. and there's been plenty of conversations on this if you were uh looking at it from the point of view of Negan Rick and group attacked first mm -hmm. um so you know there's that piece of it there's those right. people that say well wait a second eh, maybe Nick was in the or Nick wow Negan <laughs> was in the right Right. And what what's what's a good thing to mention here is even though we say, you know, Negan has been redeemed in 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 the show in a sense, right? I, I but he's still not, not he's not fully redeemed. There's no. still people that don't trust him. Maggie there's doesn't there's trust people him. that still talk down on him. There's yeah. people that here's the thing. Here here's one main difference of the two shows and these two big characters. In The Walking Dead, no one has forgotten what Negan has done mm -hmm. in fear. It's like everyone has forgotten what Charlie did. Especially that's, that's uh, one uh, uh, big difference. Especially right there. those that that um, are, close. are close. Luciana, um, Alicia. We'll get to some of this stuff in a little bit. Strand, but, even Strand was really close to Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and if you're Strand, and and the first thing that you see is this this person that killed somebody that you were close with, right? Um, he hasn't even tried. Yeah, Negan is having to constantly remind people he is not that man anymore he is constantly trying to do good deeds to show them i am here i am on your side i think that you even, know what i mean even the last episode with negan um where they run into the negan um mm -hmm. and that group yeah. the look on aaron and um daryl's face mm -hmm. was i don't trust you yeah. like you could just yeah. see it yeah um, it's always there it's it, always a reminder you know and maybe that's awesome, amazing acting from from Norman Reedus and yeah. and uh, I can't remember Aaron's uh, Ross Marquand. Thank you, Ross. Um, but you know, and that's not taking anything away from fear. It's just like, where's the at least? Hey, remember when you did this? Like, you right. know? Yeah, that's what kind of what I'm saying is that there's always a reminder of what Negan did. People don't, you know, 
even though Maggie is beginning to trust Negan, it's never going to go away. I mean, even uh, even Lauren Cohen said that when they start this Isle of the Dead, Negan and Maggie aren't going to be friends. Yeah. I mean, it's it's never going to go away. And it, and when we get back to the fandom, you know, the fans, okay, fans are like, all right, well, you know, Negan did what he did. Uh, you know, he's he's paid his dues. He was in jail. Now he's trying to help. He's been redeemed. Uh, so I can forgive him. I, I, I understand that. And we've kind of sympathized with that too, but we love the character. So we, we're going to love him anyway, right? Yeah, absolutely. There, there is that. Like, there, yeah. to be fair, there is bias here, right? Yeah, yeah, because there's bias. I'm a huge Negan fan source material are. and yeah. everything yeah. so like of course i'm gonna be quick to forgive him that and and jeffrey dean morgan's the shit the shit yeah exactly um, and look um charlie and the actress that plays charlie that's a great character yeah, i'm not saying is. anything against that yeah and, uh still yeah. want her to die but yeah so <laughs> we, so we get into the hatred of charlie and this is where it gets really tricky for this character um and unfortunate you know with the actors probably getting a lot of hate from the crazy fans that like to hate real people for playing characters um charlie was so the unfortunate death of nick was a result of the actor wanting to leave now it is the now it was you could say the writer's responsibility as to why they chose Charlie, a ten year old at that time in the timeline, to kill him. Because, well, b- because it's easy. Sorry, I didn't mean to yeah. interrupt. Go ahead. Well, I'm kind of going back. So, so when Negan killed, he killed, you know, for a purpose in a sense. Charlie's killing was for revenge of someone who close to her died, who who then was trying to help her. And she killed Nick, right? But it was more on revenge. And it was the reason the writers, you know, why did the writers choose that? I don't know if it's ever been asked. They just chose it for because that it's character. Easy, I'll tell you, because it's easier to forgive a 10-year-old than it is an Correct. adult. Right. Right. They won't right? they won't have somebody take revenge and kill a child. That's why we saw in the episode with Alicia and Charlie. Now, this is really tricky. I don't believe Alicia has really forgiven Charlie. When she stood there with a gun to her head, she was dealing with her own personal dealings of the loss of her mother and the loss of Nick, trying to um, cope with the loss because she also wanted to kill June since June was a part of it and Morgan talked her down. She couldn't kill him. or Sorry, she couldn't kill her. But we've never seen anything as to really Alicia fully Res- like fully accepting d- that she has forgiven her. We we have never seen that. So in my eyes, Alicia has not truly forgiven her, uh, but she's dealt with it and she's unfortunately moved on. That's what it and is. And they've never touched it again. She has decided that she's not going to let that moment or Nick's death define her. Exactly. Um, and, and, and that's, I think, what it is. It's not so much that she's... And the fall of the stadium with her mother, too. ...forgiven so. Nick or forgiven Charlie, yeah. but more or less that she's just forgiven herself to move on. Right. Um, but, you know... <sighs> but that's the thing, though. That's that's the only defining moment as to how we think as to why everyone else has moved on is because, okay, Alicia, I'm not sure if she even told the group this, Alicia had a chance to kill Charlie. She did not. Do you really think the writers would have had a kid get killed? Let me ask you this. You know? I, I was just going to ask you that. Do you think the show would have gotten past that from a viewer standpoint? If Killing. Alicia would have pulled the trigger at, at that moment and given that shock and awe moment? I think so. I think so. Yeah, I, I think it would have survived. She just got finished blowing away yeah, a major it, it, character. It would have survived. I'm sure they would have taken hits on viewership, but it would have survived. It would have. It would have. How is it any different than Sophia? Well, we didn't see her die off screen. It's not brutally. We didn't see. You don't her. have to show it. True, we, true. But I think in the eyes of the Walking Dead viewers, is yes. Even though Rick pulled the trigger and killed her, it wasn't really Sophia. It wasn't true. a child. I mean, it's not a human killing another child. Correct. It's a zombie. It was a zombie killing zombie. another child. I get it. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? There, I get there's it. so many different levels, but that's the thing, guys. I think that's why the fandom is really hating on Charlie. Is Yes, she killed an important character, but remember, the writers decided to do that because the actor, Nick, wanted to leave. They could have done it a different way. They could have made Charlie a completely different character, and we know that you know the, the actress, Alexa, has been, has been waiting for this moment that she, to get her own episode about herself, and it was 
I, I enjoyed the moment for the actress being able to do that. It just, that episode was not done well writing wise. And it kind of makes you feel like they're forcing Charlie on us when she's been absent for a long time. Didn't fit. It didn't fit. And it just seems like it the felt- writers are trying to make us now feel more remorse for her because she's probably going to potentially die soon. I think it was an episode you know? to introduce her death. Yeah. To that, introduce that, That's it. what yeah. it was. It was an yeah. episode to, hey, we. I, I truly believe this. Hey, we have Madison coming. We're not going to have Madison kill a kid. Mm-mm. Uh, no. We got to kill this kid off before Madison gets here. Yeah, unfortunately. And that's... And see, I... So let me ask know, you this. Do yeah. you think Charlie has a death moment or a death scene talking to Madison? I, I kind of want... Confessing? I kind of want there to be something. Yes, I, I, I really do. I think mm-hmm. it would be a nice touch for the character I to get full closure, but... I just don't know how you go about that. Hey, you, I'm dying. I killed your son. Exactly. Because here's the thing. She hasn't really gotten full-on closure with Alicia and Luciana, the two main people who were closest to Nick, and they've seemed to just forgotten about it. And th- that's what I don't like, is I like in The Walking Dead how we're constantly reminded of what Negan has done, which I'm sure annoys a lot of us, because it's like, oh, come on, hurry but, up, forget but, it. You know, I hate, but, to, I hate to go back to this, you know? but... How many people would you say died in that satellite camp? I, I get your point. <laughs> I understand what you're talking 25? about. Twenty-five. Yeah, 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 I'll say twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. Well, we won't. We won't be going into it's the misdeeds more. of what Rick has done because Rick, Rick has done a lot. I'm not putting anything like. No, look, there were a lot of moments that yeah, yeah. that led to that satellite uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, attack. Yeah. That you could say, okay, these are bad people. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. So sure. that's not that's not yeah. saying that Negan's people were just perfect. Right. Um, but. I don't know. I mean, and and hey, the second one wasn't Negan's fault. No, that was Daryl's. Have, have we forgiven Daryl? <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole big controversy on that too. But you know, it, it's it's a fun discussion because it it really makes you think about the thought process of how you're com- not really comparing the characters, but the evilness of the character. I mean, do you really think Charlie is evil? Evil compared to Negan. No. Well, but she was a child who was very young, who had a family of her own, which in a sense, one of her family members was killed by Nick. So she out of a, you know, out of emotion, unfortunately, due to the writing choices, had her kill Nick for killing What's his face, you know? Well, and, and you know look, what I mean? here's the deal. Let's play. I'll play devil's advocate. I'll actually Do play it. on Charlie's side here. Okay. Oh, my God. First um, time, guys. <laughs> uh, it's a 10-year-old. She was 10. 10. 10. Um, and easily, you can easily mold a 10-year-old's mind and, oh, yeah. and brainwash them. Twist it, mold and, it to and what you want. And that's exactly most likely what the vultures did to her yeah um and made her you know essentially do what she did right she whether whether they were dead or not and she went ahead and did it on her own she still felt obligated to do that yeah um you know and then just look at the brutalness of each one i will tell you obviously negan's is a lot more brutal than charlie's oh for sure 100 percent. yeah i mean yeah I mean, we saw some great scenes with Matt, and that's a, that's one kicker that the fans can't f- fathom and stand with Charlie is, you know, our group, especially Madison and Nick, had so many heartwarming moments to her, trying to help her, trying to show her that... You mean Charlie and Nick? Uh, Charlie and Nick, yeah, sorry. You know, just, you know, you can be part of this group. You can be part of something great. Those people, they're only using you because you're young. But that pisses me young. off even more. And, and that's probably that why. That pisses me that off even more. That pisses you off Why because- kill him then? Exactly. Well, why not? Because why not point your gun at Morgan and kill Morgan? Well, because he didn't kill. What's his face? Okay, Nick Alicia. Did. But did did Nick kill the? Okay, the guy. Yeah, Nick killed the vulture guy, which was it. um, you know, the brother of the other one, which is close to Charlie. So that's why she killed Nick. But yeah. it, it, it's it's hard to think about, and you know, it sucks that the actress Alexa, you know, has had to go through a lot of this hate for fans who can't separate actress from character um 
it sucks. I mean, even Walking Dead fan, anyone, movies, TV shows, they get a lot of hate for the characters that they do because oh, well, they yeah. can't separate that. I, I will tell you 100%. And it's sad and like, it's all my up. hate over these years for Charlie is at the character. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you the, guys the, know that. It stops at the story. Yeah. Like, yeah. it doesn't go yeah. any further than that. And people that take it further than that are psycho. Yeah. I mean, you guys have heard us multiple times. Like, you know, Josh is, Josh is, Josh wants her dead, the I character. Do. I do. Me, I've, that's the thing. In a, in a way, I've kind of forgiven her for it. But as we're talking through this, and as we've you know came up with the idea of doing this video, it doesn't totally change my mind, but it puts me on pause because it just makes me think: Why is Alicia and Lucian? Why is everyone just put Nick off to the side and said, "Okay, Charlie, you're chill. We won't have you in many scenes, but we've basically forgiven you." Compared to Negan, who's Has just she getting saved anyone. Compared to Negan, who's just getting she saved Alicia with um, she helped save Alicia with uh, when in season six when uh, Alicia was going after Dakota, the the weird taxidermist guy. Mm hmm. She helped with that. I mean, she's helped the group. She has, but she hasn't gotten a ton of scenes to really help us believe that she has. She's trying to do the right things because of what she's done. You here's, know what I mean? Here's another one. Um, as much you, as Negan are you, has are been. Are you surprised that Daniel has as close connection with Charlie, given the events, given what That's Charlie's true. done, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Because he's pretty much taken her in as his own child. But yeah, he he did. He he really did. I, I guess that's, we a good, could, that's a good point. Yeah, I guess we could say that surprises us more than you know Strand and Luciana not doing anything. You yeah. know, I mean, it, Luciana is a big one too. Yeah. I think it's Alicia and Luciana, the biggest. Uh, I mean, they all have had everyone, you know, Luciana, Strand, Daniel, they've all had, you know, were close to Nick. But Alicia, of course, being a sister and Luciana being, you know, the love of his life were, were I mean, the maybe, biggest. Maybe Daniel just didn't care about Nick as much as, you know. I think he did. But I think I think Daniel probably is on the lines of the fans who were like, she was fucking 10. Yeah. She was if anyone she was brain, knows about she was brainwashed and if anyone you know, knows about that it's him yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he would definitely know guys it's god that was that's actually really fun to think about to it talk is fun about. to think about it you, you know, know even from my perspective where i absolutely do want to see the character die i mean i'm even thinking gosh you know maybe i'm right maybe you know she's 10 i like, can yeah um, but then you go back and you know this is nick who who tried to take <laughs> you in uh and you blew his head off exactly it was the shock of the scene it was it really was that's that was, what it comes down to it was the biggest shock and that was something that you know back in those days where i don't even think it was leaked nothing was leaked nothing was Absolutely known about it nothing and this is a main character a main who a is clark who, their head was as big as the TV mm -hmm. at the scene where he gets shot. Yeah. And that was I, I would say that 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 is probably the most shocking moment in Fear of the Walking Dead. Would yeah. you say it would you agree? Uh I would I would go Or Travis. I would go Nick, then Travis, then, then Bitch Chris. Well then Madison, then J Madison's not dead. You can't say that. Well, I know. I'd <laughs> I'd go I'd go I'd go Nick, Travis, and John. Oh, John. Oh, yeah. Top three right yeah, there. B bitch Chris. No. Bitch Chris is done. No, no. I didn't. No. no. Bitch Chris. Yeah, we Unfortunately, we call him that, and a lot of the fans Lots, do, too. A lot of the fans <laughs> do. <laughs> uh, nothing with the actor. It's just the... This character was such a little bitch. We won't get on a tangent with that. that was, bitch Chris. Yeah, it was a terrible writing choice, what they did with him. But, uh, guys... Let us know what you think. Um, are you part of the ones that have forgiven Negan more than Charlie? Um, do you not care either way? Have you not forgiven either of them, but you do like the characters? Can I say one themselves? more thing? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> you know, let's look at time time that it took to, to kill, right? Uh, obviously, Charlie is split second. She runs. Yeah. Negan was for what? multiple hours that you kept them in a lineup yeah. bashed a couple of heads in yeah, and yeah, then yeah. watched that yeah, made them watch till the next day yes <laughs> <laughs> in the freezing cold it, it was goes cold back too, to yeah. the brutalness of negan yeah. you know in his height but yeah that yeah. uh yeah we'll yeah. leave on that note i would like like if i did get to meet um alexa who plays charlie i would like to know from her when they when the writers decided to that they wanted her to kill nick if they gave her kind of a background of, okay, you know, how long did it take 
Charlie to come up with this idea? You know, did she feel? Did she was she all in on it? Like because you know the emotion, the spur of the moment. Was it a spur of the moment thing? Did she really plan on it? I mean, did she really know that Nick and them were going to be at that location? I mean, th- those are kind of things that are more in the background, kind of in the script that kind of gives you the idea of it. That's kind of what I would love to know from her. Is I mean, but then, but then that. again, you're getting in a ten year old's mind at that point. You are, you are. But that, but I would love to know because she's older now. She's fifteen in real life right now. So I would love to know kind of what she, as the actress, felt of what Charlie was going through at that time when they brought when they presented this to her to do. Yeah, yeah. I would. That's the main thing I would love to know to get inside her mind to know what the actress felt to then display this on screen is she on any comic cons or is uh, she allowed to be at this point i think she is i wouldn't uh, see why not they don't really they don't really give a a ton of big news on fear characters going to cons but i'm sure she probably has or will yeah depending on how many more you know cons they do but Yeah. yeah guys let us know what your thoughts are on this it was a really cool topic discussion and uh feel free to comment below um like the video, subscribe, and stay tuned for other topic videos we may come up with in the future yeah. to discuss. Maybe we will discuss more on the bad things Rick Grimes did. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad man. Oh, there's so many fans that think Rick Grimes is the villain. A no. lot of people. But anyway, we well, may discuss that get later. Get that out of your head. Exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're out. out.